Somebody on our Facebook pointed out that Whoopi Goldberg's real name is Karen Johnson. And then somebody else pointed out, ah, I always knew she was a Karen. <laughs> She is uh, she's apologizing today. In fact, she went on her Twitter and she had to apologize for. So, you know what? I was going to read it, but it's really it's ba it's your basic milk toast apology from a celebrity who says something stupid because they didn't know any better or because they were trying to. Really, what she was trying to do was make inflammatory comments about race, and she was using the Holocaust and the death of millions of Jews to do it. And and what that that what she's doing basically is she's using one race to uh, bolster her point about another which is racist. Anyway, here's what she wrote in her apology. On today's show, I said the Holocaust is not about race, but about man's inhumanity to man. Here it is again in case you missed it. And let's be truthful about it because the Holocaust isn't about race. I should have said it is about both. Uh, the Holocaust was about the Nazis' system, uh, systematic annihilation of the Jewish people who they deemed to be an inferior race. I stand corrected, written with my sincerest apology. You know what, but this isn't, this is typical. Whoopi Goldberg, I don't know if you know, but this isn't the first time she's changed history to say that the Holocaust wasn't about race. Well, it's not about maybe race. Maybe well, no, it's Jews about a different it, race. But it's, it's not about race. No, and she knows what she's talking about. She, she knows what she's, she's, she's a noted historian of revisionist history will be I don't know if you know Is did she? you know oh, I had yeah. no idea she's written the book on in fact Whoopi <laughs> Goldberg's revisionist history is a it's a it's a classic read and something that I think should be mandatory let's in hear all, it in all schools well I can't read you the whole thing but I'll give you some excerpts okay uh, this is what you know like for example a lot of people thought the Holocaust was about race it wasn't what was it, it about? was it was about people hating each other oh okay uh, the Boston Tea Party mm -hmm. you know you thought it was the sons of liberty who were angry about the tax on tea Right, throwing right, right. those crates overboard in the water in protest. Mm -hmm. No, 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 not at all. They, it was just early colonial juice heads who wanted to bulk up their delts to impress the uh, barmaid down at the pub. <laughs> that's all Makes that was. Makes sense. It was just peacocking is what that was. So, that's according to Whoopi Goldberg. That's her, she's a historian. Anyway, uh, the, oh, Christopher Columbus sailing, mm -hmm. uh, discovering the new world. Yep. You know, uh, the traditional history teaches that uh, he was trying to find a quick route to India right. and open up, you know, easier trade between Europe and Asia for spices and, and things like textiles, things like that. Yeah, goods. No, not true. Uh, oh. According to Whoopi Goldberg, he was trying to get away from his bookie because he lost a fortune betting on <laughs> England in the Hundred Years' War. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have taken a France. Oh, that was good. Yep. Uh, John Wilkes Booth. Yeah. You know, assassinated Abraham Lincoln Correct. in the theater. The first assassination of a sitting president, right? John right. Wilkes Booth. We all learned that he assassinated Abraham Lincoln because he was afraid he was going to free the slaves and destroy the Southern way of life, mm -hmm. right? Not true. According to Whoopi Goldberg, total accident. It was just a prop gun, like with Alec Baldwin. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, what a copycat yeah, Alec is. Time. But instead of, like, you know, sitting there and trying to, and crying and getting on his cell phone, he ran. He yeah. was like, I'm out of here. So, anyway. It's tough. This is Whoopi Goldberg's revisionist history. Uh, Genghis Khan. You know Genghis Khan is a murderous thug. He slaughtered people, hundreds of thousands of people, uh, and, and really just murdered entire civilizations to show his supremacy and leadership across the land, right? Yeah. Wrong. Oh. No. According to Whoopi Goldberg, he was trying to reduce carbon emissions and reverse global warming. <laughs> <laughs> Gringus Khan. Yeah. Gr <laughs> Gringus Khan! He would drive a Prius. He was trying to save the world! <laughs> Uh, oh, the moon landing. What about it? Oh, Remember the go. moon landing? Here JFK we yeah. said, we will put a man on the moon. And then they did. Yeah. His name was Neil Armstrong, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, JFK, we learned, wanted to put a man on the moon to win the space race against Soviet Russia and establish American military and technological dominance around the world. According to Whoopi Goldberg's revisionist history, he was just trying to fix the national cheese shortage. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> That's made of cheese. Oh, that's right. good. Yeah. We, had a, we had a cheese shortage in the country. Oh, thanks, Whoopi. Like, Let's go to the moon and get the cheese. <laughs> so, Tasty. there you go. Yeah.
And Whoopi Goldberg, she's re rewriting history just like she did about the Holocaust. And let's be truthful about it because the Holocaust isn't about race. Just like women's suffrage isn't about women's suffrage. Did you know that? I did not. Oh, you might have been, you might have mistakenly learned in your high school or college education that it was about giving women in America equal rights to men and a voice in their government and uh -huh. their representatives. What was it really about? It was, according to Whoopi Goldberg, it was just a way to get those lazy broads out of the house once oh. a year. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> Come on, ladies, enough with the cooking and cleaning. Get up there and do something. <laughs> that's, uh, that's according to Whoopi Goldberg.